Hey guys, I'm Clint Flatwoo. Welcome to another Division build video. Uh, it's 1.8.3. Uh, no, Nomad has taken over. Nomad is the meta. However, um, I like to give different variations of different meta builds. Uh, something which is a little bit, again, off meta, something a little bit different. Uh, I've given you guys a level. tank Nomad build which if you click the link above you will find that video just there uh, I have given you a 7k firearm, 6k stamina, 3k electronics uh, optimal as they say uh, Nomad build if you want to check out that video check out the link just above it right about now but now I'm going to bring you the most balanced Nomad build you can find um, for me this this is much more fun than either one whether it be a cutting rope build or a bit of a DPS build this is just balance. This this is all about survivability. This is all about skill haste. Okay, so what we're talking about? I'm talking about my new Nomad Firebug build. Yeah, so it's five free K firearms, five free K stamina, and five four K electronics. Okay, as you can see, the armor pieces are fairly close to maximum most, other than the backpack. Um, I'm running Nomad 6-piece, so if you're not too sure what the Nomad gear set does, let's go through now. So, set bonus 2 is 15% health on kill. Set bonus 3 will give you Nomad Resolve, which is grants a constant small amount of healing, allowing the user to regenerate all segments of the health bar during combat. Set bonus 4 is Path of the Nomad. When receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health can occur once every four minutes. Set bonus five is an extra 10% health on kill, which is really nice. And the talent Improve Nomad Resolve, which increases the amount of healing from, from the resolve and now will overheal. Fantastic. And set bonus six is Nomad's Luck. So 50% chance to have no cooldown for Path of the Nomad when playing solo. And you take 60% less damage for 10 seconds after Path of the Nomad is triggered. That's just like a mini survival link. Okay, so start with the weapons. Weapon of choice is the house with the talents Unforgiving, Deadly, Card Counter. Weapon attachments are Critic Chance, Critic Damage, and a little bit of Reload Speed on there as well to boot. This is my secondary utility weapon, which is the Tactical ACR. And talents are Predatory, Sustained, Determined. And in terms of attachments, it is primarily based on Critic Chance, Critic Damage, and Stability. Okay, I use this to re regain my skills, give me a little bit more health, uh, make sure I get my recovery link back as quickly as possible. Okay, so we'll start from the chest piece, and again I'm running Nomad, and it's rolled into into stamina with skill haste, health, ammo capacity, and the mods I've chosen are two electronics skill haste mods. Onto the mask, it is rolled into firearms with critical hit chance burn resistance and the mod I'm using is electronic skill haste again. Onto the knee pads it is rolled into stamina with health, bleed resistance, damage to elites and shock resistance. The mods equipped are electronic skill haste and turret damage. Okay the holster is rolled into skill haste and the mod is turret damage. Onto the gloves, it is firearms with critical hit chance, SMG damage, and critical hit damage. Onto the backpack, it is rolled into electronics with skill power, ammo capacity, and mods have chosen are electronic skill haste and two 4% turret damage mods. So we'll go into the current sheet, we'll show you this briefly. 42% uh, critical hit chance, it's a little on the low side, but I've got precision that will give me that little bit of boost in DPS. Critical hit damage 112%, which is there about middle, that's okay. 16% damage to elites, 25% health on kill. Skill haste of 31%. Now for me to get this to 40%, what I would need to do is roll off uh, one of the attributes on my gloves uh, to get replaced by 9% skill haste get to that 40. I've opted against that and the reason being I would rather like the extra bit of damage than to save off about three or four seconds. Okay, I would rather have that little bit of critical damage and critical chance uh, to make me do more damage. So I've opted to stay at 31% and again it, it does me fine. Survivability, 303k max health. 
and you look at the abilities I'm running with, I'm with Immunizer Support Station, again that's, that's a given on most of my builds. Flame Turret, okay, as you can see the damage is uh, nearly nearly 6k, um, it is not all about the damage, the more I do the better it is, I understand that, but this is a crowd control build. Yeah, so the, the turret has a lifetime of 45 seconds, the cooldown is 37 seconds, again it'd be fairly easy to take down, however again if you take it down it's going to come back fairly quickly. Yeah, I've got 31% skill haste and again I can switch to my ACR, start taking down some NPCs to get that cooldown even quicker. Yeah, so this, this turret a lot of people will try not to focus it, they want to focus the player but when they're burning, they're on fire, uh, they're trying to take you down. It, it's they find it extremely difficult that the burn does a good job a healthy job on players um, this is all about crowd control yeah so I've got that support station which which will last me it's got a lifetime of 38.8 seconds and a cooldown of 21 seconds so again it is really really good uh, again when you find other nomads who primarily will not run this build they will run the 763 or they will run the tank build with 0% skill haste I'll have that little bit of an edge to keep dropping that turret to keep keep them on fire keep the status effects going and to have that support station which again is also key against predators mark builds okay so this is a, a really really good all-round nomad build that not many people will use but they should because it's extremely effective and when you check the footage out shortly you'll see what, what, what I'm talking about okay the talents I've got equipped are adrenaline again when I do see that prayer if I'm going to give the burn the bleed's going to be there I'll pop that med kit to remove that bleed I've got critical save I've got wildfire to, to increase that burn and I've got precision to increase my uh, critic chance and critic damage to give me a little bit more damage output here it is. This is my balanced Nomad Firebug build. Uh, it, it's really, really good. And you see how it works into a player's is extremely effective. If you don't believe me, you feel that 763 is much better. Try this. Come back to me. You feel there's much more survivability. You feel a lot more tankier, and you still have that turret that's going to burn, that's going to melt, that's going to really, really annoy a lot of players. Um, and given you've got unforgiving on on your weapon deadly you can you can deal some damage so th this is for me is a top tier nomad build is it better than the the other two I've mentioned I'll let you guys decide but for me this is the best fun I've had with nomad in a long time uh, I've had messages of people asking me what am I running how I've got my nomad built you know and I obviously have kept this a secret now here goes I'm running 555 five, five across the board uh, 31 percent skill haste and flame turret which does a really good strong healthy amount of damage against players uh, if you've enjoyed this video then please hit the like button if you enjoy my content then smash the subscribe button uh, enjoy the, the footage that's coming up and I will see you in the DZ take it easy Don't feel fucking